the Peace Chapel with Pastor Brim Chum. He invited me to come and, and preach today, and uh, it was just an incredible service to see people singing and and uh, praising God together, and people coming forward for prayer. And he's got quite a story to, to share. And uh, Pastor, why don't you share a little bit about how you came to faith uh, those many years ago? Thank you, Pastor Jim. Um, yes, um, uh, I came to the Lord uh, when I was 10 years of age. Um, actually, um, uh, what happened that my dad passed away, uh, and uh, we were going through, uh, uh, like, we were without food and shelter. We were pushed out of the house, and uh, we were on the road. And um, there's a servant of God, um, Reverend Manikam Pillay, he went to visit his his visit, his members and then on his way back he he found my mom crying on the road mm. and he saw me uh, with the bags on the road so he helped us and he asked us to come and stay in the church mm. so I grew up in the church uh, I was there for five years and uh, so uh, finally what happened we, we were able to receive our house back uh, our property back and I moved back uh, to my uh, home and uh, that's where at the age of uh, uh, 15 uh, I began to uh, do ministry um, uh, inviting uh, the Muslim uh, kids, the Muslim children uh, to my home and uh, on, on Sundays and, and other days of the week I tend to help them and pray for them and uh, uh, they shared the message with their parents and uh, some of them they were going through uh, problems and uh, there was also, I remember there was a soul in, in a parent's uh, leg, the foot. It was, uh, and, and so uh, the kid, what he did, he, he said, I know this man, he can pray for you. And so they mm -hmm. were invited, they came and we prayed for this uh, Muslim couple mm -hmm. and uh, they got healed. Mm -hmm. uh, we had three days of fasting and prayer and, 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 wow. and they got healed. And so... Um, I've got a little bit of challenge there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the priest, the Muslim priest, he came from the mosque and he starts saying, uh, oh, what you are doing, why are you converting Muslims into, into Christianity? And, uh, and, and so I just shared and with the boldness of faith in that little age, uh, 15 and 16 years of age, I told him, uh, yes, if you believe in Jesus, I can baptize you because God has given me that power. Mm -hmm. And so this man was angry on me. He was really wild on me. And then and then slowly he became friend of us. Mm -hmm. And we uh, started calling children and other people around in the community. And they started to come to, uh, to, to the meeting place at my home. And uh, then uh, since I was young, and uh, I had an uh, opportunity from the Lord. Uh, I received a scholarship to go and study. And so I, I left my island and I came to the main island. And uh, in those days, we don't have universities in our island. So uh, that's how I went on. And, uh, and uh, yes, I worked uh, for uh, a Japanese company for nine years. And uh, as a prison warden, I, I worked for three years in, uh, in Fiji Prison Correctional Department. And uh, it's been uh, 10 years for me here in Peace Chapel Senior Token Ministry, mm -hmm. full-time minister for God. And uh, yes, I love helping people. Mm -hmm. I love uh, sharing the gospel. And God is with us. Uh, mm -hmm. And miracles are taking place. Healings are taking place. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Pastor Jim has said, we had a great service. Uh, we just finished and uh, uh, the church is having lunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are so blessed. And yeah. we are, thank you, Pastor Jim, for your time. Oh, thank, thank you for coming and choosing our church. Thank you for your precious time, despite of your busy schedule. Oh. You are with us. And mm -hmm. thank you, Sister Penny. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. God bless, God bless you. you. It's amazing how you came out of a Hindu background and you're, you're ministering to people who are Muslim. Yes. And then this church is planted and, and wonderful things happening. But if you ever get to come to Fiji, it's a beautiful country. The people are so hospitable. As you, but we're just been showered with love. And I, I thank God for you and your ministry and, and your family. And, and God bless you as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah.